Hi, let's discuss about integral membrane proteins. The integral membrane proteins can be classified into different types based on the way they are arranged in the cell membrane. These integral membrane proteins are designated as type 1, type 2, type 3, all the way up to type 6. Now, if you see the structure of lipid bilayer of the plasma membrane, then it has a polar head which loves to be in water and a non-polar tail which hates to be in water. Most of the integral membrane proteins have a hydrophobic region which allows them to interact with the hydrophobic region of the lipid bilayer. And because of this interaction, they remain inside the membrane. So let's see the first type which is denoted as type 1 integral membrane protein. The type 1 integral membrane protein is arranged in such a way that the C-terminal of this protein remains in the cytoplasm whereas the N-terminal remains in the outer environment. A simple trick to remember this is that C stands for cytoplasm and C stands for CWOH group. So this is type 1 integral membrane protein. The type 2 integral membrane protein is completely opposite of this. In this case, the amino group remains in the cytoplasm whereas the CWOH group remains in the outer environment. Let's see type 3 integral membrane protein. So the type 3 integral membrane protein is a huge protein with multiple secondary structure. All these multiple secondary structure have a hydrophobic region which allows them to be embedded inside the lipid bilayer. Remember, this is a single protein with multiple secondary structure. And this is how the type 3 integral membrane protein is arranged. In this case, the N-terminal and C-terminal can be on either side. It can either be on cytoplasm or it can be in the outer environment. Okay, now let's come to type 4 integral membrane protein. In this case, we have different polypeptide chain. Remember, it's not a single polypeptide chain. Here we are having different polypeptide chain. These polypeptide chains together are embedded inside the membrane. So this is known as type 4 integral membrane protein. In case of type 5, the protein itself is not hydrophobic. In this case, the protein is hydrophilic. So this protein loves to be in water. However, the protein has a lipid chain. This lipid molecule is covalently attached with the protein. So this covalently attached lipid molecule allows this protein to be embedded inside the lipid bilayer of the plasma membrane. Then we have type 6 integral membrane protein. In this type, the protein has a hydrophobic structure which allows the protein to remain inside the membrane. And this protein also has a covalently attached lipid molecule which again remain inside the membrane. So these were the different types of integral membrane proteins.